Hey there, my name's Aaron. I'm the writer, creator, and art prompter or director of Camp Peculiar, a fun for all ages webcomic that you can check out by searching for Camp Peculiar on Webtoons or by clicking the link in the description. It's a fun comic that is uh, supported entirely by AI art. All right, today I wanted to talk about image weights and using images in your mid-journey prompts. And I think the best way to do that is through a real world need that I had, and that was to create a billboard that was in outer space. So the first thing that I did was fired up this prompt here, billboard hovering in outer space, retro comic book style, pen and ink style, illustrated, and then I used the aspect ratio flag there uh, for 16.9. That's the last time I'm going to read that prompt in full. I, I promise I'm going to try not to just read every prompt. Uh, and this is what I got back. Not bad. The styling looks good. Everything looks good, except there's just not a lot of billboards. So I had a fantastic idea. I often have fantastic ideas, and this idea was to feed mid-journey an image. So I looked up an image of a billboard and I thought, this one's fantastic. It's got a huge billboard right in the middle. Uh, it looks just like a billboard. And there's this city in the background. I'm sure Midjourney's going to take that and turn it into a super cool, like space futuristic city. Like, this is amazing. It'll probably turn these cars into spaceships. Best image ever to put into Midjourney. So we went ahead and fired this up. Uh, the image came first. I just didn't put the whole URL in there because it would be too long. So whenever you see the blue image, that there was an actual URL to an image in there. Uh, and then I did the prompt, same aspect ratio, and I gave it a wild image weighting of 5,000. In short, that means really, 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 really pay attention to the image that I gave you at the beginning. Before we look at the results, let's get a quick primer on the image weight tag. Dash dash IW, which stands for image weight or is it working? Uh, and the default weight of an image, if you do not use the dash dash IW image weight tag, the default weight is 0.25. It's worth noting that most of Midjourney's examples range from 0.25 up to 5, but that you can go crazy at the current time. I don't even think Midjourney returns an error at this time for using wild values. I have heard that the theoretical range is 0 to 20,000. Here's my advice for Midjourney, and we'll go over this again probably in a second. I would normalize all of these input values between between zero and 100. That makes it much more easier on the user to know that zero is no influence of the parameter and 100 is the engine's full weight of influence on that parameter. Other things you should be aware of when you use an image in your prompt is that that is just an influence image. Theoretically, it's treated just like part of the text prompts. It's not an init image, an initialization image, or what's called a make image sometimes, meaning Midjourney is not looking at that and being like, oh, you want this exact image, but you want me to just sort of put some kind of filter over the top of it. Uh, Midjourney by design does not do that. It just treats it as part of the text prompt. And as such, that's where the weighting comes in to say, how much attention would you like Midjourney to pay to this part of the prompt? Let's go back to our example here where we had this perfect billboard. Nothing could possibly go wrong. And we got this back. And you can see that Midjourney picked up on the city, the clouds, and then for some reason, we got the Eiffel Tower, not once, but twice in here. And I did not talk about the Eiffel Tower in my text prompt or the image, or did I? If you look at the billboard here, Chevy dreams do come true. It says Paris underneath here. And so I think this is an interesting point about including an image in your prompt is that mid journey could actually read the text in that and then use that as the focus of what it returns, in this case, the Eiffel Tower. The image weight is really high in this, and you can see that billboard hovering in outer space, even the style information is almost completely disregarded. So my feeling was there's a problem with that image. It's just there's too much going on in it. So let me just, this. there's nothing wrong with this image. This is clearly a billboard. I didn't have any text on it that Midjourney could read, and there's just these simple clouds around it. So I still have the image uh, at the beginning, my outer space text, my stylized text. I reduced the image weight from whatever it was, 5,000 to 500. There's no way I'm not going to get a billboard in space with that simple image. And here's what I got. I got a whiteboard and a bunch of clouds, which really does make sense when you go back and look at the image because this looks like a whiteboard in a bunch of clouds. So I thought, okay, I'll still keep the image at the beginning, but I'll drop that even further to an image weight of two, and I'll use the no flag to get rid of the clouds. And what I got back was a whiteboard. And so I think this is also an interesting point when talking about feeding images into Midjourney, and that is what you see is not necessarily what Midjourney sees or is going to pick up on.
So I thought I have the perfect solution. Perfect solution in the whole world is I'll change my billboard image to have space stuff on it. So that way if Mid Journey reads the billboard, it's gonna find space stuff anyways. Not a lot of clouds in the sky. This is clearly a billboard. Other changes I made were at an image weight of two, I decided just to get rid of the image weight parameter at all. And I moved the image from the beginning of the image to the middle of the image. And I worried about those palm trees. And so I used the no trees to try to get rid of those. And this is what Mid Journey gave me back. Pretty decent. You can see we've picked back up our style information. They're just, other than this little guy right here, there are no billboards in here. I've gone ahead and kept the image in the middle of the prompt. No image weighting at all. Chaos at zero to try to get consistent results on what's returned and the stylizing set to 700, which is almost zero. The floor is 625, so I think this is kind of like not including it all. And what we get back is this. We have our style back, we have billboards, we have kind of everything we're looking for. It's close. It's worth getting variations of this and trying to work this image set into something that you want. Worth noting though, I don't really know if this is happening because freeway billboard are the first two words or because of the image tag or a little bit of both. So last test, I just got rid of all the flags, got rid of chaos, got rid of the stylizing information and kept the aspect ratio and kept the image. And again, we're in a workable set of images for what I want. What's the takeaway of all of that? Well, I think it's to realize you can use images in your text prompt. You can actually use multiple images. You can't at the current time give different weights to multiple images. I hear that's coming, but right now you can't do that. Uh, and that the image weighting tag does have a drastic effect, but the effect it has depends on what Midjourney saw in your image and that you likely see something very different than what Midjourney sees. As always, in the current state of AI art, which is a little bit like herding jellyfish cat or cat jellyfish, your results are going to vary from mine, even if you use the same prompts, and your results will vary request to request. That's why what I feel the best practices for me are currently is to start with a bunch of experimentation at the beginning of an image sort of process, and then once I find something I like to use the seed, the same seed tags, the variations on those image to begin to hone that in, and then to start introducing images to see how they affect something I'm already happy with, rather than using that stuff at the beginning. Hey, if you found that helpful at all, or you want to hear me talk more about what my focus of AI art is, which is in visual storytelling, comics, and all those kinds of things, like and subscribe to the channel. And go check out Camp Peculiar, which is an AI-generated webcomic that I write over on Webtoons.